to take the dogs for a walk and get some fresh air. Cabin fever is a thing, and I like going for long walks, especially when the weather turns beautiful, as long as you keep the nice social distance. It was a beauty day outside for many feeling stir-crazy, isolating because of the coronavirus. This was the perfect time for a stroll, but with the pandemic, they need to take social distancing into consideration. It's frustrating. But I'm extremely grateful to our Prime Minister and to Dr. Tam for instituting these measures because I believe it's the safest way to keep people healthy. I asked people why go outside today and how you're staying safe. Staying safe by making sure that if people aren't going to get out of the way for us, we'll just move out of the way, for sure, keeping the two meter distance. Yeah, trying to, yeah, just stay very far away. So just walk and keep your distance six feet and cough in your sleeve and enjoy the day. So if you are healthy and haven't traveled outside the country, based on what the City of Toronto released today, you're still allowed to exercise outside as long as you give at least six feet of physical distancing. We also reached out to a fitness professional to get some advice on how to exercise and stay safe during the coronavirus pandemic. Make sure that you're not touching things. So whether you're going out, whether you're touching benches, touching, you know, the light bulbs, all that kind of stuff. When you get to that street corner, you might be also there with like five or six other people who are also out on their own, but now we're all kind of con conjugating around that corner waiting for the light to change. So definitely being aware of your distance. However, there is an even safer way to get your workout in online. It's something Heather Gardner offers. You can stay inside and do your own workout at home with things that you might have around the house. So whether that is using a coffee table or a kitchen chair for a workout, whether you're doing um, tricep dips or push-ups on those things, just using your own body weight for lunges and squats and holding planks. Both the WHO and the CDC recommend people stay indoors. But again, if you do go outside to exercise, make sure you practice physical distancing. Brandon Rose, City News.